Hello there everybody, Nick Dutch here. Uh, we got a private message here. I'm gonna go into the private message and then I've got a little bit of like spiely type stuff to do afterwards so that you get a feeling as to where I'm coming from and all that jazz. It says here, Dear Nick, hi. I just wanted to congratulate you for the growth of your channel. Since I last sent you a message, my life has turned around for the good, and I've come to a conclusion. You helped me by taking my mind off things, and for that I say thank you. Lately I have researched occult history and many other things, and again I have to say thank you because you've given me the curiosity to have this hobby. That was part of my goal. I have one question though, what got you started about the occult and why did you pass on your knowledge to us? Yours sincerely. Okay, uh, well, I had some strange experiences. I had a ghost experience when I was about four years old, that sort of like, you know, it's not the sort of thing you forget. <laughs> you know, you might not remember what you had for breakfast five days ago, but you know, when you got something that's quite so, you know, out of Kazam, you know, you don't tend to forget that sort of thing. So I knew something was true, but I couldn't quite work out what. And of course, I have plenty of doubts because I was interested in science. You know, when I was a little little kid, you know, just a uh, few days out of the playpen, you know, every, every kid has a mobile above the bed, you know. I mean, mine was the, the whole solar system, you know. And, you know, I made it, made papier-mâché things and, like, held together with, um, you know, little fish hooks holding up the planets, and I painted them all in accordance with the same patterns and colours that, you know, I, I just love natural science. It was beautiful, you know. And science itself was magical. So I, I, I got very interested in physical science, but on the other hand, the teenage years came, and all kinds of weird stuff happened, all right? There's something funny about, like, maybe the male body and having hormones and all kinds of weird, or you know, altered state experiences which happened then, which went on to prophetic dreams, astral projection, and so on and so forth. And I wanted to try and control it. Now, I had an imperative to try and control these things because natural medical science at that time was not doing anything about my chronic fatigue syndrome problem that was messing with my life, messing with my future, messing with my ability to get on with people, okay? It was literally doing me in, all right? So I had to find a solution. Every time I talked to someone who said magic works, I thought to myself, okay, that's interesting. They say that magic works. Therefore, whatever this thing is, maybe they can cure me. So I'll tell these people, okay, look, I've got chronic fatigue syndrome. And they just sort of like look a little sym sympathetic and they just try and throw me some religious bollocks. And I thought, this is no good. So I had to try and find out more so I could then hopefully, you know, that, that was the idea, the plan was to cure myself. Of course, in the end, I found out that magic didn't work. But the strange experiences happened to me, you see. All right, magic did not work. All right, because these people who said that they could do it, they wouldn't. All right, they used their little get out clause all the damn time. You know, oh, I'm afraid of my karma. Eh. Well, the, their fucking karma was making me so ill that I couldn't do normal stuff, all right? That's what their karma was doing to me, because I'd given them the opportunity, and of course they didn't use it. So may they all rot in hell, basically. They're all a fucking bunch of lying, cheating, stealing scum, all right? But I wanted to find out more, so I explored. And I did stuff, all right? And I had a few more experiences. And what those experiences did for me personally is give me a view or a point of view, all right, that... There's something else going on in the world. All right, maybe consciousness itself is like a natural force like gravity, the strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force, and electromagnetism. All right, maybe emotions themselves are a form of force. Maybe consciousness, um, energy, plasma is all part of the same thing. Maybe there is no real boundary between the self and the rest of the universe. Maybe there's no real separation between people on another level of consciousness, all right? Maybe that's what I thought, and that's what I still think, and I thought about it in different ways, and I had different interpretations of the point of view as I went through life. But I thought it was really rather sick, twisted, perverted, sadistic, and evil that there were people who were using their, their myth, the magic worked, it was 100% reliable and concrete, and the rest of that, to control people and make people worse. But I also thought to myself, these experiences actually happened to me, therefore something must be real. So I've got to find a way of talking to people out there 
in a way which enables them to have curiosity, like you say you've gotten your message, sir, okay? All right? But without sort of like going the other extreme towards hard atheism, which on the basis of those strange experiences is a factual inaccuracy because those experiences happen to me. All right. Sharing dreams with people, dream telepathy, that sort of stuff happens. Uh, telepathy, uh, which occurred as a result of or seemed to be connected to meditation, that's just happens. All right. Can it be done all the time? No, because, you, you know, your ability to enter into precisely the same state of mind, you know, it doesn't always work. The brain's complex. The body's complex. Na nature is complex. Um, but the experience has happened. All right. So it is weird. So that's why I'm giving you this like middle path, this like middle zone. All right. Because I, I don't want this lie to carry on out there that if you like burn your you know as i carry on saying standard standard nick dutch analogy okay if you burn your yellow candle on a tuesday afternoon at three o'clock um and say the lord's prayer backwards whilst i don't know burning a sigil of baphomet then hey presto your all your diseases will go away you'll win on the national lottery you'll get your lover coming back to you and bloody 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 blah, blah, blah and all this stuff is reliable and concrete and da, 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 because it works it works it works those people who carry on saying that fuck you fuck yourself up the ass i hope you die seriously you know because that attitude is it it's it's factually inaccurate. It's it's there to brainwash people. It's there to control people. It's a form of cult technique. All right. It's a cult technique, and it's undesirable to have that within any of this uh, occult, pagan, witchcraft movement, whatever. Any more is an abomination against intelligence, freedom of thought, scientific inquiry, and essentially, if. Consciousness is a force in the universe, like electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, the weak nuclear force, and all the rest of those. It requires research. It does not require new religion. And that's why I've been trying to promote this thing, which is called transdeism. All right. Seeking transcendental experiences, but actually applying a bit of thought and criticism and self-doubt to them. All right, so you can try and get a more all embrace of understanding rather than just going to the oh, that means there is life after death. Yes, yes, that's definite proof of the astral body. Yes, no, 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 no. It's proof that you can have the astral projection experience. Okay, the experience happens. What it means, we don't know, and what it means is not necessarily what it seems to suggest because we don't know enough. All right, we got more questions. We haven't got answers. So, you know, I know I'm a ranting, raving individual, all right? I know I get really upset when someone throws me a heap of shit. But I have to, because there's nobody else out there doing it. There's no one else out there, as far as I can see. Well, okay, there's one or two more people, because, like... You know, I don't know whether I'm just like surfing a new wave that is more, you know, little people here and there are turning around saying, you know, just like, fuck this superstitious bullshit. We don't want it anymore. All right. But who's saying it? Who's who's actually going out there and saying it? And someone like me. What do I do for a living? Ah, uh, professional telephone tarot reader. All right. Traditionally, a person like me would just be going on, you know, all the time about, you know, Oh, this is proof, and that's proof, and no, I'm not doing that. Nearly five years worth of video creation. It's undoing that, that tradition of just hard sales. I don't want it to be just hard sales. I, you know, about like, you know, I'm the greatest spiritual guru on the face of the planet. Well, maybe I am because I'm raising my middle finger at people and telling them to fuck off and shut up and stop being so goddamn dumb and stop using cult techniques on people who are sick or vulnerable or weak and stop like really real rather screwing up people's lives. I mean, I just can't tolerate this anymore. Uh, you know, I'm mad. All right, I'm pissed off. I'm vehement. I'm aggressive. I'm, you know, I just can't stand the fact that in the 21st century, any movement, all right, a religious movement, a political movement, a cultural movement, will be coming out with any of this horse shit. This is why I'm doing it. This is why I'm sharing it with you, okay? 
this should give you, uh, you know, some curiosity about the, the, the techniques which people have used to try and get strange experiences. What those strange experiences mean, we still don't know. What's the main methodology? It's religious type exercises, but they're done with altered states of consciousness brought about by principally meditation. Okay? Visualization, uh, breathing, changing your focus of attention as you, as you do stuff, you know, it, 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 that's basically what, you know, where it all comes from. And it's a complex form of art. It's not a hard and fast science, okay? The methodology of looking at the stuff might be scientific when you're going through it, but that doesn't mean to say that there is a hard and fast truth, all right? Even proper natural science isn't a hard and fast truth, because the word science is a noun that stands for the methodologies of investigation into nature in order to try and find out what is most likely to be true under some specific circumstances. It is the search for the truth and not necessarily finding the truth. Although there are some scientists who go out there and say, yes, we have found the truth, but that's only because of certain things happening under some circumstances and also because some scientists are a bunch of lying, cheating, stealing, evil bastards. Right? Okay. Mm. <sighs> I feel a lot better now. I got that out of my system. Out of, you know, it's... <sighs> Let's change the culture. Let's make it happen. All right? Did just because I've got like a pack of tarot cards on my desk, it does not mean to say that uh, I think in precisely the same way as one of those people on, on TV, okay? Just because I enjoy playing with pendulum dowsing does not mean to say that uh, I think in the same way as someone who says, oh, there's a little imp that's pushing the crystal like that. Yes, yes, that's what it is. Yes, it does. It must be. Yes, yes. It's the idiomotor effect, but what is it that, you know, where the original idio bit comes from, that's where the questions are. Same with the Ouija board, okay? It doesn't mean to say that there's a little imp that's pushing the planchette like that with his finger. <laughs> yes. Oh, come off it. Fucking wankers. I mean, Christ almighty on a bike on drugs whilst... Hmm. Drinking communion wine and singing Molly Malone backwards. Uh, anyway, and no, for those of you who are curious, I do not script my videos all the time. To the most part, I just come out with stuff and people like it. Hey, keep cool.